Hi everyone, I am Yaunel. Today, I am here to talk to you about the Sony A6300. I think this camera is a great option for photographers and videographers out there looking for a camera that can produce high quality images and then high quality videos. I have used this camera for a lot of portrait sessions. I've used this camera for a lot of lifestyle shoots. I've used this camera for a lot of street photography and I'm going to show you some of the results or some of the images created using this Sony A6300. I'm going to put it at the end of the video, so please do enjoy. Here are some of the key features of the Sony A6300. It was released in February 2016. Sony A6300 has a 24.2 megapixel sensor. It has a very fast and sharp autofocus. It has 4K recording capabilities. It can record 4K at 24 frames per second and 30, 30 frames per second. It has built-in Wi-Fi and NFC for easily transferring your files. And it is compact and lightweight. In terms of image quality, the autofocus is so sharp and fast that it makes you capture your images very swiftly. The 24.2 megapixels produces quality and clear images, and this will even shock you that you can get quality images in low light conditions. I was lucky I bought this camera in 2018, and I've been using it since then. I have been using this camera for the past five years, and I will admit it has the pros and cons. So we're going to talk about the pros and later we will talk about the cons. Take this from someone, a photographer who has been using this camera for the past five years. Whatever I say is from my own experience. So let's start with the pros. The first thing that I want to talk about with the pro is the autofocus on this camera. Before I bought this camera, I was using the Canon 7D. I know you remember that camera, Canon 7D. And after I switched to this camera, my whole idea changed about Sony. The autofocus on this camera is crazy. It's so fast. It's always on point. Well, there are quite there are quite sometimes it would miss focus just because of one how you're holding the camera or two the kind of settings you you used in taking this particular image. But 99% of the time, the autofocus never disappointed. It was so on point. Now the second pro that I want to talk about is autofocus detection phases or the points on the camera. This camera has a 425 detection points on it or call it the auto detection phases. The 425 points allows you to focus on any point on the camera that you want to focus. This enhances your creativity and this enhances how you want the image to be produced or how you want to create your image. So for me, that is a pro for me that I'm able to actually pinpoint one particular point in the image or where I want to capture or how I want to capture this image. And it's so great. If you ever get to use this camera, you will know what I'm talking about. Now, there are very few cons on this camera that I will talk about personally because this is from my own experience once again. The first thing about the con that I'm going to talk about is the battery life. The battery life on this camera isn't so great as compared to the Sony A7 III, which I'm shooting with now. So when it comes to the battery life on the Sony A300, if you're able to buy this camera, you should think of buying extra batteries to support you while you're on your shoot. But if you don't have the money yet for it, you can use your one battery or two batteries very wisely. I've been able to do two or three shoots with just one battery and it depends on how long you're shooting. So for me, for instance, I am a portrait photographer. I do a lot of portraits. So I'm able to do, a, to do two or three such sessions. And for every sessions, I'm able to capture about 300 to 400 images on just one battery use and it will be just enough for the whole shoot. Another con that I want to talk about is the overheating. Yes, I know a lot of people talk about the overheating. That too is a factor and it depends on how you use the camera. If you try shooting 4K 30 frames per second with this camera outdoor, you will be able to produce just about 15 minutes of recording. And this is for my own testing. This is for my own video recording. But if you're shooting in Full HD, at 120 frames per second, 60 frames per second, you'll be able to record over an hour long with this camera. Mind you, this camera doesn't have continuous recording. So if you record to one hour, it will break on its own. You'd have to click record again to have a recording. But from my own use and from my own experience, I've been able to produce one hour video without having any overheating issues or without having the camera switching off because of overheating. So. Would I recommend this camera for anyone starting out photography or starting out videography or anyone looking for a backup camera? Yes, I'm going to recommend the Sony A6300. You're not going to break the bank buying this camera. You will get quality results, professional results. As of now, I do know professionals who do 
use this camera as a backup for their videos and for their pictures. So if you're thinking of buying this camera and you're watching me now, don't think twice. You're going to get great results out of using this camera. If today is the first time you're watching me, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would mean a lot to me and I'll see you another time. Bye.